Summer is filled with many water activities from swimming to sailing. There are important safety concerns around water activities and equipment. PCN met up with Billington Sea Kayak of Plymouth, who works with area communities on safety as it applies to kayaks and other types of small one-man watercrafts. With Billington Sea Kayak, we do programs. Uh, the biggest programs we run are with the recreation departments in town, and we teach kids how to kayak. We also teach kids how to stand up paddleboard, and we do a third program called the Duct Tape Kayak Program, where kids come in and actually build a kayak from scratch using duct tape. With the kids groups, they're uh, typically a three-day camp, so they'll come in on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday uh, during a given week, and we'll go through the, the program, typically teaching them how to kayak or paddleboard on the first day, and then we take them around the lake on the second two days to show them a little bit about Billington Sea and what it has to offer. So we work with a number of communities on the South Shore. Uh, Plymouth is obviously one of them. Uh, we also work with Kingston, Pembroke, and Marshfield, and we have some programs with Situate uh, as well. So the first day, Again, they tend to, uh, we just spend a lot of time working with them on how to kayak or how to paddleboard so they get the basics down. The kids learn how to properly um, paddle their kayak or paddleboard. They also learn a lot about safety. Um, we also teach them how to move around the paddleboards and how to maneuver their kayaks appropriately. Um, beyond that, they also get a taste of the pond ecology. Especially with the kayak camp, we stress a lot of the science uh, curriculum. So we teach them about the turtles in the lake. We go into the park and do a hike and talk about the different trees. And we also spend some time speaking about other things like fish and uh, the birds on the lake. So when we take them into the park, they get a good sense for what their home environment's like. Um, we talk about all the different trees that are native to the area, as well as why that's the case. Um, we live in a fairly unique uh, environment. It's a pine barren for the most part and a glacial remnant. So we get to talk a lot about how those geologic factors impacted uh, the trees and, and other animals that we see here today. Our kayaks, they do tip over uh, occasionally and uh, we instruct all of our participants as to what to do. Uh, obviously the first thing to do is to get yourself out of the kayak very safely and, and most of the time that's a function of just falling out. Um, you also should be wearing a life jacket which we stress and the life jacket helps you um, come up out from under the kayak uh, fairly efficiently. There's not much holding you into a kayak, um, so most of the time you come right out. And then we help teach the kids how to climb back in, which usually involves getting to the back of the boat, climbing on, and getting themselves back into the cockpit from there. And you can have a buddy hold the boat and help you back in. I just think that Billington Sea is one of those hidden gems uh, that's out there in Plymouth. A lot of people drive around it but never get to come here. Uh, it's a great place to explore. You guys should come on down, enjoy the park, and enjoy uh, paddling out on the Billington Sea.